हेलो फ्रेंड्स कुल गुरु की कक्षा में आप सभी का स्वागत है सो टुडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंट शॉर्ट आंसर्स टाइप क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चैप्टर टू सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स एंड ऑल दिस क्वेश्चंस आर बेस्ड ऑन डिफरेंशिएशन सो आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन द टू शेल्स enclosed in a mature male gametophyte of an angiosperm so friends here the question jo keh raha hai humse ki do cell ko differentiate karo jo mature male gametophyte ka angiosperm ka hai so friends the question is not saying directly that differentiate between the vegetative cell and generative cell so instead that we have to find out what are the two cells or which are the two cells which are actually enclosed in a mature male gametophyte of an angiosperm so here it is none other than your vegetative cell and generative cell and whenever the question is asked on the differentiation or differentiating between so we have to just make a tabular form and differentiate just these manner as what i have done so we know that the two cells of a mature male gametophyte are first vegetative cell and second that is generative cell so let's discuss so first one is it is larger and irregular shaped so vegetative cell is actually larger and it does not have a fixed shape it is actually irregular in its shape that is cell whereas in generative cell what we see it is small and spindle shape the cell is small and its spindle in shape whereas the second differentiation its cytoplasm is less dense and nucleus is large and irregular in shape this means that this vegetative cells cytoplasm is less dense and the nucleus is large here and again the nucleus is irregular in shape and hence nucleus does not have its regular shape whereas generative cell what we see that it has a dense cytoplasm and a small round nucleus here the shape of the nucleus is confirmed and it is round in shape whereas in vegetative cell what we had seen that a nucleus is irregular in its shape and its cytoplasm is less dense whereas in generative cell the cytoplasm is totally dense now the third number is it has abundant food reserve so it has a lot of a food reserve in it whereas in generative cell it does not have a food reserve if it does not have a food reserve so it can't reserve the food now the fourth and the last one is it does not divide further here the vegetative cell does not go further division where is generative cell it goes for the mitotically division for forming two male gametes and the next question is how is parthenocarpy different from parthenogenesis give an example of each so friends here the question is asked directly that is parthenocarpy and parthenogenesis so we all have already discussed the these two terms earlier so let's discuss it again so parthenocarpy is the phenomenon of formation of fruits without fertilization as we have discussed earlier that the parthenocarpy is that kind of a process in which fruits usually used to form but it never involves the process of fertilization so in the absence of fertilization it makes the fruits and hence the term is known as parthenocarpy and its next uh, next point is usually seeds are not produced and if they are produced it is not viable and hence the example is of banana banana fruit now the next term is parthenogenesis so parthenogenesis is the phenomenon in which the unfertilized female gamete develops into an adult so here what happens in parthenogenesis that the female ovum female ovum is actually unfertilized it is not fertilized yet and the adult results in the development of a adult and hence the adult develop here 
without involving the process of fertilization and hence the term is parthenogenesis and the next point is it may result in a haploid individual and yes if the two gametes the male and a female gametes they when they do not meet then the resultant will be haploid and hence the individual that we get is actually a haploid individual and hence the example is drones of honey bee and now our next question is the flower of a brinjal is referred to as chasmogamous while that of beans is clistogamous how are they different from each other so friends here the question is not saying you to differentiate between the brinjal and the beans flower whereas to differentiate between the chasmogamous and clistogamous flowers and we have already discussed these two terms in important terms so now let's discuss it again so very first is our chasmogamous flowers so what's a chasmogamous flowers these are dead flowers which open at maturity and expose their stigma and stamen so what's happen in this flower that during their maturity time these flowers totally open and expose their stigma and stamen and why do they do so to initiate the cross pollination and self pollination and the chasmogamous flowers opens their stigma and stamen but what happens in this case in clistogamous flowers these are the bisexual flowers that means both the organs are present on the same flowers which do not open at all even at maturity when they even during their maturity period their stigma and style is totally closed that means they do not open at all and that is why the type of a pollination that is only the self pollination they initiates invariably and in self pollination also they used to have the autogamy type of a pollination so question number 4 is differentiate between testa and integument so testa testa is the outer covering of a seed we know that the outer layer of the seed or the outer covering of the seed is known as a testa and it actually develops from the outer integument the testa the covering of the testa of a seed is actually develops from the outer integument whereas in integument it is a protective covering of a ovule so here the protective covering of a ovule is actually a integument and hence it develops into the testa and the tegment of the seed cord and here do not get confused that the testa is the outer covering of a seed whereas tegment is the inner covering of a seed so integument develops in between the testa and tegment that is into the testa and tegment so friends ye hum logo ke aaj ka video ka last question hai question number 5 differentiate between coleoptile and coleorhiza so friends isse pehle wale video mein maine diagram mein aapko coleoptile and coleorhiza ka अच्छे से डिस्क्रिप्शन दे रखा था सो so, जिन्होंने नहीं देखा है वो प्लीज़ एक बार डायग्राम वाला वीडियो पक्का देख लें क्योंकि आपको ये कॉलियोपटाइल एंड कॉलियोरेजा का जो एक्चुअल लोकेशन है और अच्छे से समझ में आएगा आपको उस वीडियो में सो so, इसका डिफ्रेंशिएट करते हैं कॉलियोपटाइल इज़ द फोलियशियस शीट एक ऐसा फोलियशियस सीट है डेट कवर्स द प्लूम्यूल इन द एम्ब्रियो ऑफ द सीरियल्स कोलियोपटाइल एक शीट है कवरिंग वाला जो कि प्लूम्योल को पूरी तरीके से कवर करता है और ये प्लूम्योल क्या है प्लूम्योल जो हम लोगों का शूट सिस्टम को डेवलप करता है डेट इज़ योर फ्लावर्स लीव्स जो डेवलप करता है एंड स्टेम्स एंड ऑल वेर एस हाँ इट बिलोंग्स टू द शूट सिस्टम यस प्लूम्योल और द कोलियोपटाइल बिलोंग्स टू द शूट सिस्टम एंड नाउ इन कोलियोरिजम Coleorhiza is the covering of the reticle in the embryo of a cereals. 
एम्ब्रियो के जो रेडिकल होता है उसका कवरिंग को हम लोग कोलियोरहिज़ा कहते हैं और ये जो कोलियोरहिज़ा है वो रूट सिस्टम को फॉलो करता है दैट मीन्स द रेडिकल इज एक्चुअली ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ए रूट सिस्टम इट बिलोंग्स टू द रूट सिस्टम सो कोलियोपचाइल इज योर सूट सिस्टम एंड कोलियोरहिज़ा इज आ रूट सिस्टम एंड फ्रेंड्स अगर एग्जामिनेशन में क्वेश्चन डिफ्रेंशिएट सन के ऊपर पूछता है और डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग बिटवीन टू करता है तो हमेशा आप लोग याद रखें कि इसे टेबुलर फॉर्म में बनाएं अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगा हो तो प्लीज़ लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल एंड थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स